Join us on iAxis Radio and iAxis Broadcast Network and watch our weekly podcast live. Streaming live now on iAxis Broadcast Network and iAxis Radio. Okay, why am I just sitting on this screen by myself? I want to know here. that right now. You You're hear there? Me? You can hear me? I do hear you. I but can I'm hear you. With you. I'm backstage. You're backstage? <laughs> what kind of crap is that? I'm backstage in the broadcast. Come on. I, I, Oz has to add Come me. on, girl. Get on. Oz has to add me. Oz, add Morgan. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see if he can hear us. Oh, Jamal, you I added like on. I like your hoops and your and you your. You like ombre. my hoop? Is that ombre or outro? Thank you. <laughs> yes, light. Yes. Is that ombre or outro? That's you. This little I got this my little, little ring light, light is important. I didn't even Ombre. hook my light up. I got mine in December sometime. I ain't even hooked mine up yet. And I did it my I did it myself. It's like a 22 inch ponytail. And then yeah. like a little um 16 yeah. line. So I did it myself. I love it. So here we are. Give it life. Give it life. Podcast. I don't know if you Give it live. So I don't know yes. if you need to log out, come back in. I'm right here. Here you are. Hey, you all. Fabulous. Hey, yes. <laughs> I'm oh in the God. building. I'm in the building today on a Sunday in representing y'all. So, Jamel. absolutely. I like your, I like your hair. Oh, yes. this is called um my body wave. I do um band a bantu not out. This is a bantu not out. So you know, I did a little something. I really, really like it. You know, thank you. It looks like a wig. It looks like a wig. I used I used to buy this kind so of you, hair. You're kind of going. I'm going Ooh. in and out. What happened? You're going in and out like I hear you on a delay. For some well, reason. How how about now? Okay. Can you go into another room or something? Maybe. Do you hear me better oh, now? It's a little weird to me. Yeah, but your lips are not going with your voice. That's crazy because yours are. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know why is doing my, that. The internet over here is is good. The connection, the connection at your house is a little wonky. Oh gosh, now she's frozen. Okay, so tonight, give it life podcast. Oh my gosh, we're talking. We're talking about. Body pos positive being having a positive body image, or is it low self esteem in the plus size world? 
And I think it's going to be real cool for us to talk about it because we are plus size women in entertainment. So I think it's going to be fabulous, a fabulous, fabulous show. I want you guys to tune in. If anybody can see us right now live on Facebook, or, you know what I mean? We also have available iAccessRadio.com. Go to iAccessRadio.com. You can see us live on YouTube. So when you go over there, please subscribe to iAccess Radio. Give a like, give a comment. There's many, many, many other shows that you guys can tune into. So that's my spill on that. Are you there, Morgan? I am. Okay, so... No, she's back out again. What the hell is going on? What is going on, man, tonight? Tonight is just a little creepy for me. A little creepy. Let me see what's going on tonight. Tonight's episode was uh, put together by Morgan Flower Chow. So I'm over here reading the details, actually. Um... I'm here. Body. Where? You by my Christmas tree. Okay. You don't see so me? you continue. You continue when you talk. You continue to talk about the show. Can you see me though? Yeah, I can see you, but you're paused. That's crazy. What? Is the continue to talk about the show. Continue to talk about the show. Right, so tonight, we're talking about body. tonight we're talking about body positivity. Body positivity is the notion that we all deserve to have a positive outlook about our bodies. That our bodies are, you know, right. people, regardless of what society thinks about us, we all deserve to think positively about our bodies. But see, I wanted to talk about this topic because right. there it is it because this is a day of social media. And me being a plus size woman, I get paid to be plus size. So I remain plus size, but I have to watch myself. I have to watch my health, my endurance. I get on stage and dance for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was on tour, I would have asthma attacks and I would have to jump off stage and drink my apple cider vinegar and my grape juice and water. And so there's a health thing there with having more weight on you. Right. But there is this notion that I feel like as, as women, we feel like, okay, I'm plus size. Everybody else is, is, um, this trend of body positivity, especially with bigger women, it's always been, oh, skinny women in magazines and on videos. So now we see plus size, full figure, curvy women having this confidence about themselves. The confidence is beautiful, right? Isn't it beautiful? Of course it is. Don't Are you, you think kidding so? me? I'm plus size. Are you kidding me? So I'm loving, I'm loving yes, these artists yes. that are coming out. Like Lizzo and her body positivity is beautiful. It's amazing. And when she first came out, I was just like, look at this big, beautiful woman sharing her curves, rolls, whatever. Right? She doesn't, she does, she doesn't hold her weight very right. sloppily. Then there's the answer. I started right. watching and watching, and I'm like, okay, now this woman is twerking. Every time I look on social media, this woman has her entire butt out, and I'm sitting here like, what the happened to the classy? Always out. Yes. Where is that classy woman that I fell in love with, with the talent, playing the flute, um, singing? Now I'm focusing on her ass. Why? So when does when right. does that body positivity become high? Look at me, y'all. I'm over here shaking my butt for y'all. I hope y'all like me, you know, versus giving that to your man behind closed doors and letting people see that. You know what I mean? Is and, and when I look at you, right, Jamel, I understand. I understand. You know, when I look at you, Jamel, you're a plus size, like you're you're not big, you know. But you would be in the plus size realm. 
You think? You yeah, know, I mean, I'm plus size, trust me. <laughs> We're both plus size. And so you wear it classily. And you wouldn't, I will never look you up and see you with, you might show a little cleavage, you know, you got to be a little sexy in the industry these days. But when you see somebody just, it becomes, right. to me, it starts to look like low self-esteem when I start seeing these plus size. And I'm not just talking about Liz, I'm talking about a great number of plus size women putting themselves out there to like, hey, look at me, I'm in the cool crew. Am I popular yet? Like, am I the ish yet? People got to like me because I'm twerking. Right. Like they think, oh, right. if I don't twerk and put my butt out there, I'm not going to be popular or I'm not going to get record sales. And I hate that. We Nobody should be having Correct. to show their ass every five seconds to keep an audience. Right. Hi, Imani. Right. You know, and Hi, I, Moni, like, how are you? Yes, like as a plus yes. size woman, I want to know not not a plus size woman, child. Wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as a plus size woman, <laughs> as a plus size woman really? who's in the you industry, <laughs> you just want you want the bigger women to wear <laughs> a walk out in a suit, you know. Do the classy thing sometimes. Like if you if you choose to twerk every now and again, cool. But after a while, it becomes are right. you really positive, body positive, okay. or are you trying to fit in? Are you trying to be popular so people like you because you've been teased mm -hmm. so much? And and that's not confidence to me. Or wait, wait, or is it just that they're sexy? They're big and they want to show that they're sexy. They want to show their body parts. Exhibitionists. Just like we a little skinny know, Just like a we little skinny know what everybody thinks. What do y'all think out there? Because we wanna we wanna read y'all's comments and we wanna know how do you feel about because there is toxic body positivity. It's no longer body positivity after a while, Imani Zakaria said. After a, a certain amount of a period of time, yeah, Imani, are you speaking? Are you speaking? Mm -hmm. Did you ask her a question? I missed it. I'm sorry. Okay, you're frozen. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Jamel is frozen, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back on the line, and you're back on the line. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The connection is yes. just crazy. Oh, hey, okay, but we back. We back. Right. Damn it. We back and all that. So, so I, the yeah, internet it, can't it, be at Google when we're talking about plus size. Come on, we we can we get we can we're gonna stay alive here. Stay alive. Stay alive. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's good. She said for so, any size woman, not just plus size, not just plus size. This is any size woman. Yeah. Um, yeah. looking for attention with their body looking for attention with the body positivity mm. um we have a lot of these a lot a lot of artists getting uh butt implants and boob implants and then getting on you know social media just like boom here i am look at look at my body versus right. i'm talented i'm a big on talent you see what i'm saying i'm big on, on looking at women who are talented. I agree. I, agree. I love like yeah. if, if if Nicki Minaj came out in a turtleneck and some daggone jogging pants, I'm watching Nicki because I love Nicki. I think she's dope. Because she's genuinely yeah, exactly. She's just dope in general. So I don't yeah, even, I'm gonna watch I mean, her regardless. I the, the lace and stuff is for the men or whatever. I know women that like that stuff too, but it's like at the end of the day, I want, especially my young ladies, um, Imani said, I'm a small girl, and I definitely believe that it could go either way. There comes a time when you have to settle down and think about what you're putting out into the world, big or small. Yes. And I love to hear that because she's yeah. a young girl. She's and this teenager. is a young lady. This is a young lady. This is a teenager telling, right. telling us this. 
So you know our young ladies still look at at, at talented women and creative women um, and entrepreneurs as as inspiration, as role models. Whether you want to be a Cardi B, right. she, Cardi B says parents have the control. No, they don't. Kids are on virtual school right now. They can get on and look at you and look up to you, whether their parent wants them to or not. So if you right. <laughs> got no clothes on, the next little girl wants to have her clothes off too. You know, and I think like Cardi right. B is, is beautiful. And I know one of the reasons why yeah. her marriage wasn't working was because um, her husband thought that the song, the WAP song was a little too much. And they were arguing a lot about her being naked and arguing about her career and being a mother. People were thinking it was about cheating and it wasn't. Right. It was more so about her husband wanting her to be a wife, be more classy. And I get it, you know, cause you're, right. she's beautiful anyway. She'll be beautiful with a damn moo moo on. That's how I feel. I think she's just a sexy woman. What right. do you think, you know? Right. At the end of the at the end of the day, I would just say, just have a respect for yourself. You know what I mean? That's so good. I just say it that I just say that at, at the end of the day. But I feel like if that's what you want to do, if that's what you want to show, show it. I'm mm -hmm. not, you know what I'm saying? It's not my life to live. It's yours. If you want to do that, show your titties. Show your ass. If, if that's what you want to do, if you show the crack of your ass. If that's what you want to do, that's <laughs> your life. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then, but then I, I had, looked, I had looked at something on Lizzo and she was basically saying that she has um, low self-esteem, a low self-esteem situation with her body. That was Did you yesterday. hear about that? That was yesterday on TikTok. She posted that she didn't feel good about herself and she didn't feel sexy or confident. Wow. Right, You're talking Davey? about Offset from the Migos? <laughs> right, Davey. Ah. So I her husband raps about what he doesn't want his wife doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't listen to him, so I have no idea. Oh, honey, I love the Migos, honey. I listen to the Migos every day. <laughs> but yo, like it's crazy. I, and I don't, and I don't. So you I can teach me a thing see, or two. I listen to trap. I listen to trap. I try to keep my limit down on my trap. You know what I'm saying? But I get a little. Ah, I got a little thug. Okay, in okay, in okay. I got a little thug. Uh, okay. In but I just, but I understand what Davis is saying because Migos and his, you know, um, offset, that's what they rap about is probably most of what he wouldn't want his wife doing. So when you rap about that and women. Wow are looking up to that, especially my younger women are looking up to what the rappers are talking about. That's what they're going to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he better go kick rocks. <laughs> LOL. The pot pool in the kettle black. Real talk. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and that's wow. crazy because the body positivity makes you feel, especially with social media age, it makes you feel that's what I have to do to get to this level. This is, it's not even how you feel on the inside. This is what I really want to do. It's that's what they're doing. Oh, I got to right. do that. And that's not the case. Right. No, you don't have to do that right. to, you know, I've been told that if I put sexier pictures up, I can get, get more followers. Oh, I can. But well, I well, up because I well, already yeah. know what my, well, the like. whole thing is you do. When when you put up those type of pictures, like I've put up sexy pictures, and I get a lot of lot of I get various responses. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Right. I don't know if you can hear me, but some stuff. Yeah, I get crazy responses from men. Yeah, you know. Me and what's that? Wow. 
And there's and also there's backhand, backhand compliment, compliment that I see on TikTok when a bigger girl posts with a crop top on or shorts or something, and they say you're so confident. Just because a woman is okay wearing what she wants to, it becomes a problem or it's too much confidence. And that's upsetting. That's true. So if a if a if a plus size woman posts a certain outfit, people say, "Oh, you're so confident." You know, um, regardless, regardless of if it looks good or not, people are like, "Oh, look, you go, girl. You look you so confident." Then they feel like I don't have to lose weight. Right. I don't have to be healthy. Somebody said I'm I'm looking sexy, so I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna keep having my stomach out. Regardless of if I have health issues or whatever. He wouldn't have married her or got with yeah. her if he rapped like a Queen Latifah. <laughs> if, if she rapped like Queen Latifah. Davy said he wouldn't have married her <laughs> or got with her if she rapped like a Queen Latifah. Stop it. Hilarious. Yo. Correct. Correct. <laughs> no one is right, though. He's, but he's right. He's the right. conscious rappers, he is correct. The, it's a look. It's a it's a look that you have to you have to have in the industry. Like your woman got to look like every all the other women with the big butt and the little waist and the big boobs. And most of them got surgeries. It's not even real. And you look, then they look at right. somebody who is real and be like. Oh, she ain't got nothing. She ain't popping. You ain't popping if you don't have the, the all the fake stuff going on. Like, don't get me wrong, honey. My nails got to be right. done. I got to have my little... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I know I can right. wear... Right. You know, I, 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 I can wear hair sometimes if I want to, especially when I do um, productions and plays, but... There's a there's an image that comes mm -hmm. along, especially with the new social media age. It's hard to fit in. It's hard to sell records. It's hard to um, have an audience if you don't put yourself on blast as far as your body parts. Right. Correct. The conversational body. It's like you want to you want to get into body shaming. Correct. Correct. Yes, that is very yep. true. Very true. Yes. She fits the type of chicks they be rapping about. LOL. Wow. Right. Wow. Smaller girls body shame big girls and bigger girls body shame smaller girls and the men do it too. People are mean. Are mean. People are really mean. I, I have to agree with you. Everybody. I have to agree with you. That's, that's, because, that's society. because society is pushing the narrative that you are not good enough. Wow. That's good stuff. Thank you so much. That's a great, that's a great response. Thank you. Great response. Great comments. Seriously. Celebrity marriages. Celebrity marriages. They people go in and out trying to keep up with what looks good and what's cool and what's not. Instead of having a genuine, genuine right. like connection with somebody. And it not be about looks. That's hard. Yeah. You know, yeah. you want to be with somebody that has talent like it you, is that hard. has a hustle like you, but you still got to make sure that y'all are like equally yoked, you know, and a lot of people don't think about that. They just jump in, in it and then get out to the next person. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> but we have a dope guest tonight. So listen, I want you to go ahead. Her name is Latoya. That's what I wanted you to talk about. She's a plus size model. And she's also the director of the Miss Full Figured Georgia Pageant and the most... Oh. <laughs> I should have did a vocal warm up before this. <laughs> the Miss... The Miss You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I do that with my students every day. They be like, how do you do that? I'm like, it's years of practice. <laughs> yep. We go up and down, up and down. So we want to talk about how models, I'm sorry, Miss Full Figure Georgia pageant and the Miss so, Full Figure Alabama pageant. Let's bring, let's bring her on. She's on. 
We have Latoya Francois. Hello, Latoya. Hello, how y'all doing? Hi, beautiful. How are you? We are so, so happy, happy to have you. How are you doing? Red, 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 red popping. Ow. Yes. We love it. We love it. You know. Yes, boo. <laughs> I love it. I definitely so thank um, you for coming on. And I'm gonna let Morgan speak because Morgan is a little I can I can't I don't I don't have your bio because I'm on my phone because my computer was not working and it took me all crazy. So Latoya, if you could tell us a little bit about what you do, let the people know. Well, um, so I am Latoya Francois. I am a plus size model. I I'm the director of the Miss Full Figure Georgia and Miss Full Figure Alabama pageant. Um, I am originally from Louisiana, and um, I moved here. And just like, I like to tell people, I came and took over. I, I want to show people mm -hmm. about the plus size women about body, body positivity, loving yourself first. Mm -hmm. If you love yourself first, then how somebody else gonna love you? Um, I just love being able to empower women. Yes. I love to do. I love the fabulousness. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> Yo, Latoya is so <laughs> I wanted her to come on tonight because I actually choreographed the pageants that she directs. And I have learned so much from her. Um, being a plus size woman, I've watched her take women who don't have a lot of confidence. Sometimes they come to the pageant um, looking for confidence, going through different things in life, different struggles. And she puts them through these workshops, honey. She teaches them how to how to love themselves, mm. how to walk in heels, how to present themselves, how to speak well. Um, so yeah. I've seen, you know, I've seen a lot of some plus size women not be able to carry themselves well because that confidence is so low. So how do you do that? How do you through the pageants help women? Can, can she hear my question? I know I'm slow. I know my. Did you hear my question, Latoya? I don't know. I I really feel like they look to me mm -hmm. to be that leader to show them how to be confident. In between, if I see like little things where I can tweak, I'll come to the person separately and be like, okay, so what you got going on? What you need to talk about? Where can I help you? Mm -hmm. Don't yes. sell yourself short because you have to push through. You have to be your mm -hmm. own biggest fan through this process. So throughout Absolutely. that, I feel like that's yes. how I help them right. get, get that extra confidence. Because at the end of the day, you got to hit that stage. Okay. So yes. I don't want you to get up there. Right. So we're gonna have we're gonna help you get yeah. <laughs> yeah. You cannot yes. flip off my face. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Right. That's dope. Right. So, so so you're saying you're saying you, you want you want them to come with that with that confidence and bring across that beautiful yes. that the beauty that we have outside and within, you know, and just entertain right. and give them that, you know what I'm saying? From that thing that we plus size people have, we have something very special, right? And this is a different way for them to be able to show their confidence instead of sometimes you know you see in the plus size world, for whatever reason, plus size women feel like they have to be half naked, they had to look like they're being confident. For me, right? I feel like they are not as confident as they portray when they're always naked, always twerking and all this kind of stuff. You're playing. You want somebody to feel like you're confident. Show me your sexy with clothes on. Let's try that. Yes. That's so I try okay. to show you. Oh, don't I love that. Away. I love it. I love it. Yes. I agree. I agree with that. Because when, when I do beauty shop, me too. Um, the connection, yeah, 
when I had to do Beauty Shop with Shelly Garrett and I was cast as a plus size dancer, it was like, everybody was like, go, them girls is big, they can dance. And she was, you know, Miss Garrett, the producer was not having us looking stanky. She said, y'all are gonna have on one pieces, every, you gotta have on your, your undergarment, <laughs> you know, okay. have on your undergarment, push Fresh. them up, push it in, <laughs> And have your hips and your booty popping. Excuse me. We're we not gonna look stank. No right. man. Right. No busted can of biscuits. We're not doing that. We're gonna be plus size and you're gonna be smooth. Yes. And Put I learned that from Toya too. You you taught me, you was telling the girls, look, y'all need to have y'all undergarments on. <laughs> undergarments. <laughs> she was not playing with them. Yeah. Garments. I'm not talking about them panty, panty drawers like the old people say, the panty <laughs> drawers. I need Thank you to have them on. Suck them up. Suck it on in. <laughs> yes, honey. But I want to ask you, Toya, too, as a plus size model, what are the hey, qualifications? Hello, Tamika. Hi, hey, Tamika. How are you doing? Hi. I'm just be justified. Yes. Another show yes, that's on um, iAccess Radio. Love it. Hi. Um, I yes. Know, I Go have, watch their know. show on Justly Justified. We yeah. are definitely going to tune in. I have noticed a great number on the rise of plus size models. I'm a plus size model. I'm and a curvy model. The connection is so bad. I don't Does it take a pretty face and a big and a what? What is it? Sixteen and up to be a plus size model? Technically, it's twelve. Oh well, some that's what I was gonna, you know, I was gonna say. Twelve. Who you talk to is eight. Wow. Just, so mm. okay. <sighs> I want to be a plus size model. Can I be a plus size model? Do whatever you want to do. Just put that work. You got to put that work in, cause yes, because we are heavier. We have to come in with that extra confidence. You have to, if you're doing a show, you, the designer might not have anything for you. You got to have extra stuff in your bag so you can hit that runway and show everybody mm -hmm. else up. Like you have to put in extra work than the other. Let's see the the regular size girls. You have to put in that extra work. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be a, a plus size model, be willing. Okay. To do that work, be willing to be um, disappoint disappointed every now and again, you know. Right. But you gotta understand that disappointment comes with trying to make which you make your dream come true. Like you can't mm -hmm. you can't think that it's gonna just be so easy because it's not. Right. You, gotta That's know true. Gonna, you have to know what type of model you want to be. You have to know if you want to do print or if you're gonna hit that runway in those heels. Now, if you can't walk in heels, if you walk around here looking like Bambi in some heels, baby, don't get on that stage. Sit your butt down and take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Sit down and take some pictures for a nigga. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, I'm I can wear four inch heels. I can, I can do a four inch. Okay, well, that's, that's it. it. I can't go no five, six. Don't look. Right. I ain't going to take all, right. all that. It ain't for everybody. Don't. Do what you can do. Do what makes sense. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't jump from right. Okay, got you. Way. Thank you so much for that information. Yes. <laughs> so, Toya, I want to ask you <laughs> if well. you Uh-huh. Um, as a plus size model, have you seen the struggle for attention within um, the trend of body positivity? Do you think that that women struggle with self esteem more so now because body positivity is trending? I, I'm, a, I, I'm gonna tell you the complete truth. I'm so sick of seeing these so-called body positivity photo shoots that people are doing because a lot of them are, I ain't gonna say all of them because myself, I've done a, a, a body positivity shoot myself. It was very tasteful, mm -hmm. but I've seen some and I'm like, baby, what you did? You just came up off somebody's pole? Like, are we gonna be a stripper? I yes, need you to be. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it slipped out. <laughs> but I, love I need you to be. <laughs> I need you to be confident in a different way outside of you know, like you have to show your butt all the time or have to show right. the top of your breast all the time. Like it's mm -hmm. to me in certain instances, I feel like it's just a way of somebody just begging for attention. Right. You it's, right. it's a better way about go to go about showing that you are positive about yourself. It's always yes. a better way. And I feel like Yes, it's, it's the same trend going along, and I think some of the plus size um, celebrities and things like that. Oh, that was my phone. I'm sorry. Some of the plus size celebrities and things like that are giving the wrong idea mm. of um, body positivity. So right. if they are trying to do what the celebrities right. are doing, they're going to do it wrong. Right. Do don't show me your button no more. I don't want to see your button. Hmm. True. Interesting. Right. And a lot of people look differently. So, so I want to add. Morgan, were you about to talk? I was. And I and then I stopped. Go. Okay. I wanted to ask you, um, what do you think about Lizzo? What do you think about her posting all of these, doing all of these posts on Instagram? Half naked all the time. I mean, I'm talking 24 7. And then now for her to come to the forefront and say that she was having self esteem issues and body, um, body, body, what is it called? Positivity. Can I say non body positivity? So, what do you think about Lizzo? I have a negative body, body in, image of herself. I've always said, like from the beginning, right. when I started seeing her doing certain things, I was like, that chick, her self esteem is not up there. That's just her trying to get that extra attention. She has a beautiful voice. Okay. Who else have you seen just on stage playing a flute? Yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You have yes. so many other things that that's going well for you, but you right. can't show your butt all the time. Mm. Right. Honestly, it aggravates me when people see me and they be like, oh, here come Lizzo. Baby, do not compare me to her. I'm for you. Because <laughs> I, I, don't want, I don't want anybody to be like, right. Yeah. right. I don't want, that's not the person that represents me. That's where I'm at with it. I love it. Don't compare me to her. Ask me right. my name. You can call me Toya. Don't call me no Lizzo. I ain't no Lizzo. Right, because you see my butt just hanging out everywhere. You are gonna see me in some nice clothes, setting some some trends. You might see me in one day change my hair five times. You know that's what you that's what I'm gonna be known for. I'm not gonna be known for okay. my butt out. Well, oh. look at you! In, look at you with the yellow out in the out of the field. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful. That's, that's really beautiful. nice, actually. That's really that nice. is beautiful. I like that. That yellow is matching perfect. Got your red. Got your red. as well. That looks really nice. That's nice. I actually. love it. I, I love it. pop pop of color. Ooh. Oh, what else we got over there? What else we got over there? Oh, that's nice too. I love we got it. all of these pop of colors on. Popping with the colors. That's the thing. I'm dark skinned as very well. Dull. And I try to like I try to let some let some of my darker skinned girls know that baby, don't be scared of color. Put that color on. Right. Yes. Right. Um, pop off that skin. I don't want now I have my Ooh. black on today because that was the first thing I saw in the closet and I like my little sleeves. But yeah, you, I you like your pops. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. I love it. So yeah. So you you. Speak up. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. No, I was gonna say like I've been telling like some of my new Alabama girls that are in, that are competing in the pageant. A lot of them have been reaching out to me, showing me different things that they want to wear, and I'm like, I feel like you. It's. I'm not gonna say you no know, lies. It's more of my darker skin girls, they've been reaching out to me, and I'm like, baby, do not play it safe. If you don't put some color on your body, I need you to pop. I need you to be good. Yeah. You know, so 
I'm gonna mull over your boy. Right. Yes. Right. I love that. I love that. And I can talk about that. And I can talk about, you know, the color, the color, the colors and all of that stuff. Like me personally, my go-to is always black. Uh-huh. It's always black for some reason. And people always say to me, why are you wearing black so you can look smaller? No, because black is my favorite color. That's why I go to black. You know what I mean? But I do wear various colors. You know what I'm saying? That that I, I try to wear colors that don't wash me out because I'm so freaking pale. So I don't want to wash myself out. But maybe you can give me some tips, some tips on what colors I should wear. I don't know. Yeah, just put the color on. Just put it on. <laughs> put the on, make that makeup pop. It'll come together, trust me. I tell you about I love it. it. <laughs> I'm here for it. So I wanna um real quick, I wanna tell what you all that? that um Toya has some dope um custom made lashes. Um and I also purchased some dope shades from her. And she is just like a jack of all trades. So I want her to let everybody know where, what else she does on her brand and where y'all, where y'all can find her. Cause I want y'all to follow Toya because you will be inspired. You'll be inspired. So Toya, tell us about your brand and tell us where we can find you. Okay. Well, my brand is named Tuswa and it's T-C-O-I-S. It means turning curves on in stereo. Um, my last is under the brand are um different speaker names. I have 18 inch speakers, 12 inch speakers, I have Bluetooth, I have the super the um super bass and the woofers, you know, I have different lengths. Yes. And I also have my um shades that are under there, and I call them the my amps because my amps turn up the volume on my uh, the volume on the lashes. So I have different type of lashes and um, shades that I do sell. Um, shapewear is coming soon because we got to turn them curves on, baby. Mm-hmm. Turn the curves on. So I'll be looking out yes, for that. Yes, I'm in um, there. <laughs> you, I do have a website. It is tcois.com. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm looking out because I can't hear nothing. Oh, you can't okay, hear Jamel me? says she can't hear nothing. Uh-oh. Did my mic but go I, on? You're 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 perfect. Okay, Victoria, you you are you're perfect. It's us. Oh, okay. It's all over the place. So keep going. Oh, I was just saying, you know, so tswan.com. Definitely some of those lashes. Yes, I need some lashes too. <laughs> Tonight I am wearing my 15 inch speakers. I don't know if you can see them. They're a little. They're not mm-hmm. as full as my other ones. Like I have super bass and my woofers. Those are my more dramatic ones. If you want to be go really off, kind of go skill. off. <laughs> <laughs> but I have all type of lashes for all types of looks and moods and attitudes or whatever. I got you. Yes. Also mm-hmm. for the, the pageant, you can find us um, on Facebook and Instagram. If you look up Miss Full Figured, you'll see. Miss Full Figured, Alabama, Georgia, DMV, North Carolina, South Carolina. Like the the pageant brand is pretty much expanding to a whole bunch of different places. So if you have any interest in any of the pageants in any stages, if you if you type in Miss Full Figured, the whole list will come down. Trust me. But it is state specific, so wherever you are, make sure you click that page, like and follow, and get involved. Okay, Toya, thank you yeah. so much. You are the bomb. Everything about you, I love. You are so inspirational. You are like you. You are one of my inspirations, whether you know it or not. Um, I'm so happy because I learned so much from you when I come to choreograph with the ladies, and it's like I get so much of a sisterhood when when I'm in the room with the ladies. And so everything that you do. It exudes through them. Like it, it's amazing when I meet them the first time and then I see them pageant day. They're like totally new ladies. They're confident the way they walk, how they yep. carry themselves. It's beautiful. So I just want you to know that you are appreciated for all that you do. Um, and I know the pageantry, quote unquote pageants, 
are looking at the image of the money. The miss book bigger pages. Okay. We go up, we go in. It's like a party when you come and we go turn up February 20th in Alabama. Alabama, Alabama yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm choreographing twins on LinkedIn. I can't wait to meet the ladies. And uh, Toya, we would just want to say thank you so much for coming on tonight. And we are definitely going to be promoting you as much as possible. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I had a great time. I really did. All right, love. <laughs> thank you. Have an awesome week. Have a good evening. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, as you can see, Toya Francois, there's another picture of that's right before they did the dance number um, for the pageant. They were rocking it. I always get my music done. With, uh, DJ Instrumental does the music for me, and the ladies go in the, the dance on my choreo page uh, if you want to check it out. But when you go to her page, you'll see all of the, the ladies rocking out, doing what they do. Just being, being beautiful, beautiful ladies. There's another picture of Toya um, modeling unstoppable. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Jamel, but it's all good because guess what? Um, those of you who are watching, I want to get your feedback. I wasn't able to read everybody's comments, but I want to get your feedback, especially men. If there are any, any men out there, I want to know how do you feel about women sharing everything, not leaving any mystery, being so body positive that they're willing to <laughs> be half naked and like, you know, making their butts twerk in the camera. Now, granted, I am a woman, okay? I am sexy. If I decide to do that for my man behind closed doors, cool. But I don't think that it's appropriate for a woman to do that for social media, for millions of people. I don't have millions of followers. I have thousands of followers, and I think that's way too much for me to be putting out there for the world to see. So those of you who are watching, where do you draw the line? Do you do it at all? Do you hold back? You know, or do you, if you're an exhibitionist, is it okay? You know, when you have kids and they go on Google years down the road and they see their mom like twerking and stuff and just having pictures up of their butt on the sink and just, you know, their butt out and looking back at it. Like me personally, I know me doing this as a show, um, asking my sister to do this. We as plus size women were brought up to respect our bodies and what you do behind closed doors is what you do behind closed doors. But what happens when people start, you know, looking at you as being disrespectful, disrespecting your body, you're disrespecting yourself. Of course, you're gonna start looking easy. To me, you look easy, just putting it all out there for everybody. Jamel. Hey. Oh, hi. Girl, you know I'm long-winded, honey. Girl, I had, I had to leave out real fast, get myself together, and come back on. Where's Latoya? Well, you know, Toya, we have our guests from um two fifty to two to nine fifty to, from nine twenty to nine fifty. Oh, she was she's off. Yeah. Well, thank. Did you thank her for coming on? I did. We're gonna promote her stuff so people can find her more easy. We're gonna put her on our pages. Yes. Um, because awesome. I think she gave us some dope knowledge. She really gave us some really dope stuff. Yo, I did my hair. You see how cute my hair looks? I really do like it. I really, really do. No, my waves are gone. Oh, because you, you, you sweat it? Did you sweat or something? It's dumb hot in my house. Because <laughs> I have to turn the air off because y'all can't hear me unless my air is off. Thank the Lord you turned it off because that, that noise was getting on my nerves last week. Y'all like my Christmas tree? Let me see. Let me see. Yes. I like it. Really? You got to do the duck lips in front of the tree? Okay. Oh, okay. Very cute. 
Very soon. <laughs> Wait, I love your tree, Morgan. Morgan, little sis. Thank so you. I need an angel. I need an angel. Okay, I'll send you one. Send me your address, and I'll send you one. Um, Amazon. But listen, Don't send I me them damn shoes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to send you them, send you them shoes with the dog. Well, no, I'm not going to say dog. Bro. Them sister cobra <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Yo, Morgan, did you see that? She had her foot in it and it was fur coming out the back? What <laughs> <laughs> shoes are those? <laughs> what was that noise? Number one, that was the yeah. shoes. Nah. -uh. <laughs> those shoes was what crazy. Else? I say he liked them shoes. Yeah, he liked the shoes with the fur. Hey. <laughs> but I listen, everybody, I want to give a shout out to to DJ Ski Money and DJ um, Official DJ Savvy from 101.9 Kiss FM. They play my record talking me to death every Saturday, so it's on rotation. I want to thank them so much for rocking, rocking, rocking yes. with me. And, um, Letting the world know about vocals by Jamel. I'm gonna give a shout out to Corporate Tone. Thank you, Corporate Tone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to shout thank out Voice to, Life, Voice to Life T. I want to shout out Woo. Bloom. Give it life. Woo. Y'all go see the film. We're giving life. It's out. It's out, you guys. The link. Y'all need the link. I Get it. The wrong Give them the link, okay? I can't go in the chat. It'll take me off the show. Oh, crap. Okay. But let me give you all the link out loud. www.vimeo, V-I-M-E-O, dot com. That's not right. Yes, Morgan. dot com. Slash on demand slash Bloom, give it life. <laughs> Vimeo.com slash on demand slash Bloom, give it life. I okay. had to memorize that, honey, because trying to remember, trying to paste and copy everywhere was a yeah. hassle. Girl. But if anybody can remember that, you, Vimeo, you guys will B I M E O. Morgan, do me a favor and please just put the link on your page, Lord. Okay. I am. I am. ain't nobody gonna remember that. <laughs> well, I, I'll put it up. I'll well, put oh, it up. I got that. He's so talented. Oz. Oz is talented. Very so talented. Jamel, real big. What? I wanna ask you because you're a singer in the industry. Have yeah. you ever had struggles with body positivity or your self-esteem being an artist in the industry where you knew you know sometimes they say oh uh, that's a big girl she could sing and we can't do nothing with her right now or <laughs> has that ever been an issue oh boy see a lot of the times the parts fit me gospel mm -hmm. doors you know, singing background, singing in the background. You know what I'm saying? It's mostly big girls anyway that could tear that that could tear a hole in the in the in the singer that we singing backgrounds for. Um, exactly. But um, yeah. But but my single talking me to death, and even what I wore in that video. You know, all my boobs are out, my cleavage and everything. I said, no, I'm gonna let it be shown and be a little sexy. I yes. did. I did. I did question myself though. Should I wear this this robe? Should I should I put my boobs out there? But right. you know, as a big girl, because sometimes you know, you just have the thought like people might be like, mm, "Why?" You know, she a big girl. Why she wearing like? But no, do what you feel. Do what do what you feel at the end of the day, but just don't be raunchy. But yes. I did. But I, I I did have, we we have nice breasts. This is yeah. We have nice breasts. So I'm a cleavage girl. Like I flaunt my cleavage. I think it looks pretty. I don't even think it looks stank. That's cousin. That's cousin Julia. What up, Hi, boy? Julia? Not out for cousin, me and my son. Austin. The we Austin. Of course. Um, so what are you saying? But I thought it was very classy how you showcased your cleave in your video. Yeah. 
It was because yeah. your face and your your voice took precedence. Your voice was the focus. It and mm -hmm. the song was the focus. Your boobs didn't take focus. You wasn't like shimmying and shit, you know. Well, guess what? I should have shimmied in that shit. <laughs> I'm a final real one that's ready to give real love to me. Tied all that white fish shit, talking me to death, headed down. Oh, I should have shimmy did that. Where you was gonna shimmy at? At what part? I don't know. I don't know. Because <laughs> I was waiting for you to shimmy just now. Headed down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. But Morgan, yeah. we're, we're yeah. at time right now. So we got to say goodbye to everybody. Please like and share. Go to iXradio.com like, and subscribe. Please <laughs> go follow us on Facebook, Vocals by Jamel's page, um, Flower Child Productions. Productions. And go Let's download go. our music. Go download our music and our films. Go download, man. Go to our pages and things. I got so much stuff on my page. Just go to my page and 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 go crazy. Absolutely. Go bananas. Go bananas. Go bananas with it. Bye, everybody. The Jones. Thank you, Latoya. No. We make music. I hear songs a little different. A soul that really listens. And your style's a little different. But I feel safe with your intentions. Those hazel eyes, they shine. Blind. Is there a way you got time on Saturday? Cause loving you makes me happy. So my sky, lift up on my fly. Ride with you all day and laugh with you all night. I'll be around you.